Yeah, 28th game for Patrick. 9 and 12 with the 4-9 ERA, trying to keep this going, this stretch going for him. That's been a pretty decent run. Nimmo sit in six straight games, hitting 348 over the six games. And Nimmo lines one into center field for a leadoff hit. So they got a 2-1 fastball and hit it right back up the middle. It was a fastball from Corbin. He's got a seven-game hitting streak. So he leads off with a base hit. Francisco Lindor will be next. And here's the 1-2 on the way to Lindor. Lined up the middle. Base hit. Center field. Nimmo to second. He'll put on the brakes there as Young plays it in. Back-to-back -back singles by Nimmo and Lindor to get started. But it's a 1-4 sacrifice. Nimmo at third and Lindor at second. Alonzo against Corbin is 14 for 43 with five home runs. And he drives one out to left field. This one will be playable for Blankenhorn. He retreats to make the catch. Tagging at third is Nimmo. Advancing as well as Lindor. And if Nimmo comes home with the first run of the game, Alonzo has 101 RBIs, and the Mets have an early 1-0 lead. So now runners at the corners, two out. Francisco Alvarez coming up. And can he ever use a big hit? The 1-0 pitch. Swing and a drive in the air, well hit to left. Blankenhorn back onto the track in front of the fence. It is gone! Beyond the bullpen into the permanent seats and left center field. A long home run for Francisco Alvarez. And as we said, he really needed that. It is his first home run since the 1st of August, his 22nd of the year. And the Mets have a 4 to nothing first inning lead. Quintana, this will be his fifth start against the Nationals. 1-1 one one record with a 4.26 earned run average. Jacob Young leads off for the Nationals. Now the pitch swung on and lined to right center. That's a base hit. And chasing toward the gap to try and cut it off. McNeil, he can't. Young speeds to second. He'll stop there with a double. You know, McNeil might have had a chance to get a throw in the neighborhood, but Young had no hesitation about double out of the batter's box. His third two base hit. And here is Joey Manessis making his 15th start of the year at first base. Joey Manessis, base hit to right. Young had to hold. Gary DeSarcina is going to go ahead and send him. McNeil's throw cut off. The Nats are on the board, taking that oppo approach. And for Joey, RBI 77. Yeah, this is where speed kills. Great job by Jacob Young. Make sure that it gets over the first baseman. Watch him float around there. Great slide. We go to the third inning here in Washington. Mets with a 4-1 to one lead over the Nationals. Mendor one for one tonight with a run scored. Payoff pitch from Corbin. Swing a fly ball, hit well, left center field towards the gap. Young is on the run, back to the warning track. He turns and it's gone. Lindor tucked it just around the bullpen in left center field for a solo home run, his 26th of the season. And the Mets take a 5-1 lead. Second home run hit by the Mets tonight. Two outs, here's Mark Vientos. Vientos hit by a pitch back in the first. 2-1 pitch. Swain, a line drive to center field that sends Young going back. He gets turned around on the warning track. It's over his head, and it bangs up against the wall and rolls into right center field. Vientos hits second. He's on his way to third. Cole sends it in. The relay is bobbled, and it's a triple for Mark Vientos. And the Mets have a two-out base runner in scoring position, and for Vientos, it's his first triple of the season. And he's not going to hit too many. That's not the way he profiles, but one thing's for sure. I guess the right foot that's been bothering him is okay. So a four-pitch. Walk. The Mets have runners at the corners for Brett Beatty. Haven't seen Brett Beatty a ton against lefties this season. There goes Alvarez, and he steals second base. So Alvarez taking off on a 2-2 pitch, and he steals the bag. First major league stolen base for Alvarez in the same inning where Vientos got his first big league triple. And Beatty lines one the other way. Base in, and that'll bring in two. Vientos and Alvarez both come in to score. Beatty got it over the head of Key Boom for a two run single, and it's now 7 to 1 New York. So Beatty gets the hit off the left hander to bring home a pair. 29 RBIs for the year for Brett. That's out number one. Here comes Joey Manessis. Back up the middle, it hits the pitching rubber, bounces out to Mauricio, and he throws out Manessis. How about that? Ball came right off the rubber, or was it the foot of Quintana? It foot. was his foot, it was his heel. A little hacky sack. Back heel. Nice strong arm from Mauricio. So a two out single for Kiebert Ruiz, and here is the designated hitter, Riley Adams. 
Swing and a fly ball, hits softly to center. In comes Brandon Nimmo, out goes Mauricio, and it's Mauricio who makes the call and the catch for the final out in the third. So a two out base runner, but nothing else against Jose Quintana. No runs, one hit, no errors, one left. There's Brandon Nimmo with one out in the fourth inning. Nimmo's one for two tonight with a run scored. The 0 1 swing and a fly ball, hit well down the right field line, hooking towards the corner, call turns, and it's gone into the Nationals bullpen. Number 21 for Brandon Nimmo. And the Mets have hit their third home run tonight. It's 8-1 to one in the fourth inning. Brandon adding to his career high in home runs as we begin the fifth inning here in Washington. Eight runs, seven hits, no errors for New York. Pete Alonso hitting. And Alonso hits one out of sight. Headed toward the Capitol Dome. Number 42 for Pete Alonso. Pete Alonso now has the two most prolific home run years in Mets history. 53 as a rookie in 2019, and now 42 in 2023. Remarkable. Three home runs in his last two games, 102 runs batted in. There are two men away. Here's Riley Adams. The designated hitter, right hand batter, hits one in the air to left on a line. LeCastro coming in, dives forward and makes the catch. And that retires the side. Nicely done by Tim LeCastro. And at the end of six, as the Nationals go in order, it's the Mets nine and the Nationals one. Here's Ronnie Mauricio, 0 for 3. He's trying to stay perfect in terms of hits in every game he's played in his major league career. Rounded up the middle, that's a base hit from Mauricio, and that's going to produce his first big league RBI. Alvarez is in to score. Mauricio drives in his first run in the major leagues, and it's 10 to 1 New York. Well, congratulations. And we'll take that ball out of play and send it to the authenticator. So runners are on the corners with nobody out, and Jacob Young, the batter. Now the pitch, swing, a little looper, shallow center. Mauricio going out, it's over his head. A base hit into center field. Cole scores from third. Alou will stop at second. RBI for Jacob Young is third of the big leagues, and it's now the Mets 10, and the Nationals 2. So now the Nationals have the bases loaded. Drew Millis, the batter. And Drew Millis will get his first big league RBI on a walk. Hit the ball. It's 10 Make to sure 3. Hit the ball. Riley Adams, the cleanup hitter at DH tonight for the Nationals. Goes up hacking and pops it up. McNeil. Infielder and outfielder not the strongest of arms, but he's very accurate. There's a quick runner coming home and it's up the line and now as Alvarez bobbles the ball two other runners move up. So Adams is sack fly and it's 10 to 4. That'll bring up switch hitting shortstop Hildemar Vargas. Third baseman Beatty even with a bag. Here's the pitch. Swing the ground ball toward the hole. Cut off by Lindor on the outfield grass. He falls down. He has no play. A run will score. Over to third of the play goes Millis. Vanessa scores and what ends up being an infield hit for Ildemaro Vargas as Lindor saved the run with that diving play. 26th RBI for Vargas. The Mets 10 and the Nationals 5. Mets lead the Nationals 10 to 5. Brandon Nimmo leads off. First ball swinging. Rips one deep to center. Young going back. This ball's going to go. Home run Brandon Nimmo. His second home run of the game, the fifth home run hit by the Mets tonight. For Brandon, his career high, 22nd home run of the year. And the Mets now lead 11 to 5. He absolutely pounced on uh, that first pitch. Drew Smith picked up the save for the Mets in Friday night's game against the Seattle Mariners. A little pop up behind first base. Tough play. Alonzo, Mauricio. Mauricio gets it in oh. the webbing. Beautiful play by Mauricio. I don't know whether Pete would have caught that ball or not, but Mauricio turned on the Jets. The Nats are down to their final out of the night. And it's grounded behind the bag. Beatty with the backhand stop. The long throw. The stretch by Alonzo, and the ball game is over. The Mets hit five home runs, two by Nimmo. Alonzo hits his 42nd. Boy, Alvarez breaks a long drought. We talked about the four guys playing together. Well, the first time together in the lineup, they all went five for 13 with five runs, one home run, and three RBI. They all contributed here.